welcome ladies and gentlemen to another kata today we are going to be finding a lost number in number sequence if you're new to binary life this is a channel that teaches um, newbies how to code so that you can have the thinking process and uh, how uh, the solution comes about now today i've already solved it i'll just give a walkthrough because it's a very simple solution so if you're given an array like this uh this is a function given an array with two given a uh, two parameters uh which are two arrays the first one is an array like this and the second one is an array like this and you need to find the missing number now here you can see we have nine numbers but here we have eight numbers because five is missing so we return five so we need to find the missing number given to arrays if we don't find any we we return zero so the first checkup here is to check if both length are zero if both length are equal sorry if they are equal then nothing has been removed and return zero now the else part if if the lengths are different what do i do i sort the second array which is this called the mix array i sort it into I, that's why i call it the sorted mix and then the two array are now sorted i start looping if they are now sorted because the first one is already sorted if they are now sorted then they are supposed to have the same order of things until they reach a point where one element here is lacking here that is why i do a for loop uh, and uh, the for loop ends at the length of the longest one which is the original array and i check if uh, the element at the index at this index i of the first array matches the one of the sorted if it doesn't match it means that's the missing number i just return it and it automatically quits the this else and uh, quits the whole of function returning the correct number that's it it's very simple array a yeah, simple algorithm i can remove this curly braces so that i have everything on one line this if since it's just one statement okay and uh let's run and that's it let's see um if we have a uh, another approach but this is like very very optimal oh so that's a nice one this he actually filters the first one from the first one he filters any number in he filters uh from the original array uh and checks if uh every number on the original is lacking in the mix for a number to be lacking the index in that array should return minus one yeah that's it this is a short form of writing but i'm not quite sure it's faster than the one we wrote in terms of speed but this is a clever solution anyway now this is somebody that wrote like like us um if the lens are equal we turn zero and now we do a for loop uh, looping through the first array and now we're checking every number now this this is not quite faster because we're going to take every number here well this is the same speed i don't think so we'll take every number here and run through the mix and see if it exists so we keep going through this mix multiple times let's see it's more or less the same our own is faster at the search part but is slower at the sorting area this doesn't sort at all it just loops every time well this array is fast if the in fact both arrays are fast if um the number of elements is small but if the number of elements is huge it start taking a toll on the processor this is the same like the first one instead of looking for the index we'll, we'll use includes it's practically the same thing well 
think we get the logic there's nothing fancier oh this is another wild one i just can't grab it crazy wow i don't get it oh and anyway i'll stop here so i don't understand this one i hope you understand it and it makes sense to you but i'm going to stop here because you understand the logic behind the algorithm and uh, see you on another um coding episode and don't forget to subscribe for more uh algorithms to come